A substance which prevents clotting is introduced into the animal's blood. The dog is under an anaesthetic. It doesn't feel pain. No interruption of the animal's normal functions has yet occurred. The dog reacts to touch. Its pupils are normal. Special apparatus, the chymograph, registers the breathing and the function of the dog's heart. The pulse and breathing are normal. The experiment begins. All the blood is drained out through the carotid artery. Heart has stopped. This is one of the animal's last gasps. This is a final breath. dog is dead. Without operative interference, death would be final, as the disintegration of the body cells would gradually set in. The autojector is being attached before starting the revival. The arterial pump is connected with the artery. The venous pump is connected with the vein. Ten minutes have elapsed since the animal died. The blood removed from the animal is pumped back into its vessels by the autojector. The autojector ensures a normal blood circulation in the organism, replacing the action of the dead heart and lungs. The artificial blood circulation 
gradually induces the heart to start beating again. action begins to be known. The first sign. Respiration is gradually restored. The dog breathes more normally and evenly. The animal's condition approaches normal. We can now disconnect the autojector and leave the organism of the dog to maintain life with its own resources. The dog soon shakes off the effect of the anaesthetic. The dog is still weak and can't move. After 10 to 12 days, the dog returns to its normal state. After the experiment, dogs live for years, they grow, they put on weight and have families. For a number of years now, three dogs have been under observation in the Bolognese Medical Institute after being revived by artificial blood circulation. This dog, Bunny, was revived in 1939 after having been dead for eight minutes. Black Ears is the offspring of revived parents. She herself was revived in 1939 after 11 and a half minutes of death. Naida was revived in 1938 after 15 minutes of death. These experiments on the revival of dogs have shown that the process has no harmful effect on the animal organism. The question of the revival of animals is one of the most interesting problems in physiology today. Experiments on revival have added to the valuable store of our knowledge of experimental medicine.